can you tell the difference between I want to get good results versus I don't want to fail? Because these two things are leading to the same outcome. The outcome is going to be work. Someone's going to be putting in effort, <laughs> but the motivations are different, right? One is out of fear of failing and the other one is the desire to achieve. And so the reason why I'm like kind of sharing this with you is because if we can get clear on what's motivating us, we can have an insight into how we feel, um, what is actually impacting our mental health, what is helping us, what is not serving us anymore, and what can we do to make us feel better in the pursuit of our goals. I was talking to a friend the other day and he's successfully managed to convince me to sign up for the marathon. Um, more on that a little bit later, but like, man, even thinking about it, I'm just getting a little bit scared. But like, you know, we were talking about how sometimes anger can be a big motivation. Like I know for me in, um, in high school, I was driven by, I was driven by like fear, anger in a way. Like I was so angry at myself of living the way that I was of, you know, going through depression, going through anxiety. Like I was sick and tired of feeling the way that I was, that I was thinking like, I need to get out of this situation. So I need to do every single thing possible to make the most out of this situation, make the situation better for my mum, and like make my life somewhat happy. So I was like, I was driven like by that, almost out of fear. And I noticed like throughout the whole of high school, I felt stressed, I felt tired, I felt exhausted. Like I'd, I'd have this burst of energy and I could power through and do all these tests and you know get everything done. But then I just felt so exhausted by the end of it. I just get so tired. And I taught a class this morning on this topic of you know negative and positive motivation. And we were discussing about how these two things feel different. They feel different in our bodies. They feel different in our emotions. Because when we're driven by fear, with the, the, we're worried about you know, the consequences of what might happen if we you know, don't work or if we do work. You know? It's like, I was talking to these students and um, they were saying about how like, you know, like sometimes we put in effort, sometimes we're motivated because we don't want to get a bad grade, so we put in effort. And the bad grade is, you know, I don't know, let's say 60% or something. And then it's like, oh, because if we, if we do get a bad grade, then we're going to get scolded by our parents. And then it's like, well, when we look at it like that, when we're driven by fear, it's like, crap, I'm putting in effort and I'm stressed out. I'm worried about the results of what I'm going to be getting. And, you know, who knows? We might be successful or we might be so scared that, that our fear comes into reality, comes into fruition and then, you know, we end up facing the consequences that we were so afraid of in the first place anyway. But when we're driven by, you know, the desire to achieve, we're driven by love, by, you know, by just wanting to do well, by meaning, then it's a completely different story. It's like, man, I want to achieve great things because I just want to. Like, you know, like, I want to see how far I can push myself. You know, it's like, it's a completely different energy when we, when, when we say that, when we use that as our motivation. I think the fear of failure is one of the biggest things that are facing our young people today, whether they are in high school, university or working, right? I think this is one of the biggest challenges that they are facing right now. And it's the reason why we have so many mental health problems too. Like so many people are getting burnt out, tired, exhausted, you know, feeling sad all the time, getting really worried and anxious about the future and the results and like becoming very cynical about life. They're like, man, like the world sucks. Like the government's just not serving us. Like it's like we can get very cynical about an environment like this. And look, I'm not, I'm no exception to this at all. Like there's certain points in my life, even recently where I've been driven purely by fear. When we flip that coin of, you know, negative to positive, all of a sudden it's easier to get up in the morning. All of a sudden it's easier to say no to things that we know is bad for us, to say no to the distractions and start chasing the goals that we want. Let me lower the bar for a second. I'm not asking you to do great and amazing things. All I'm asking you is just think about what is your mindset at the moment? Like what's driving you to achieve the things that you want out of life? And so there's three questions that I wanna leave you with. And the first question is, what do you want out of life? Do you want success? And what does that success look like? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to just you know, get out of this situation that you're in? You know, like what do you want out of life? Two, what currently motivates you? And is it positive or is it negative? And number three, in relation to the first two questions, how is this negative or positive motivation 
helping you achieve what you want out of life. Now, if you do have trouble answering that first question of what do you want out of life, feel free to check out this video right here. With this video and that one, hopefully you have a better idea of how your life is looking like at the moment, how do you want it to look like, and then how can you be driven by a greater source of inspiration? The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to become aware of what you're driven by, like what you are motivated by. Because if you can recognize that, man, I'm feeling exhausted, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling stressed out all the time, then you know, for the most part, you're probably driven by fear. And the first step to any type of change is awareness. And like, if you know that you're driven by fear, that means you know that you can change it now. How can you change that fear into a desire for something more? By the way, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.